Hello everybody and welcome to Geek Out Plays and today we're doing something a bit different. We're playing a game that's currently on Kickstarter. As you can see it says right here to back the project. Uh, there will be links in the description below. Please do check that out. Uh, this game as far as I can see is a sort of point and click adventure game um, which is great because I love them. I grew up with LucasArts, so let's see what Gibbous is all about. It's saying it's a Cthulhu adventure, so if the Necronomicon doesn't make an appearance, I'll be quite disappointed. Hey everyone, and welcome to Gibbous, a Cthulhu Adventures demo. Perfect. Let me put things into perspective. I won't be long, I promise. So, in the demo, we're close to the beginning of the game. I recently witnessed a private eye get kidnapped by mysterious forces. Probably because he was searching for the Necronomicon. And there it is. Which I found, and read a spell from, and transformed my cat, Kid A, into a talking abomination. That is a cute cat. Into a talking abomination? Your cat? It's just... Uh, it's what people say when they have this a... This is unbearable. Look, I just want to be a normal cat again and not give a flying... So, let's find a way to turn Kid A back to normal. Together. Please, enjoy the demo. Okay. Hey! Please don't say that. Alright, game. Alright, I'm with it. It's a jokester of a game. Let's have a look. Click on hotspots to interact, hot spacebar to reveal hotspots, right click for inventory. Click on Kate to make her do stuff. Um, double click screen. Oh, same as Monkey Island, where if you double click on an exit arrow then you'll instantly go out of that screen to the other screen I like that a lot it's a good feature most games to be examined multiple times of course typical adventure games explore dialogue options as you should do exercise at least 30 minutes a day I got it right okay then so creepy little girl kitty me door let's go for the door not in the demo thanks a bloody lot but anyway, that's quite nice. It does have voice acting in this. Uh, is it on all characters? Hey, little girl. What are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Nice. Let me try that again. I like that voice actor there. I do like voice actors in general. Uh, in adventure games. Let's see. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the screen and try to get it. But I can't reach it! I guess that's like her window up there and whatever. Uh, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Settle down. Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishma soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. Alright. Yep, that is pretty weird. What's your name? If you must know. Ooh. Something has changed in the world, or I can advance in plot or something. Whatever. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, Smarty Pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz! Buzz. My dad really loved his electric shaver. Kind of. Uh... So, you're just standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little eyes away. Okay. Okay. You know, this just... I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. A little bit... One thing I will say, uh, that is common with all adventure games, is... You do get to a point where if you've spoken to someone too much, you do click through. Um, this game's gonna be no different, but at the same time, that's taken nothing away from the writing of this so far. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. 
I see. It looks like someone's just scribbled something on the on the wall there. So I don't know. He just fishes as a human. Well then, Kitty, go and get that. Hey, Kitty, how about you climb up and get that amphibian for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Hmm. Nothing for now, I guess. See. Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, Kid A. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. Aww. Typical sort of, you know, protagonist trying to do his bit. The uh, sidekick, not quite as helpful, but I reckon Kate will come into her own a bit later. Oh, I'm taking that. Just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does I say your name here? Your name here, Street. Never heard of him or her. Okay. Thanks, your name here. Fair enough. Uh, statue, blonde lady. Shout to the blonde lady. Hey there. Hello. Approaching the only women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but this is an adventure game. I'm expected to bother everyone all the time. That's true. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry. Let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I. I have a B-shaped birthmark. Oh, He's telling different stories to different people. So, nice, nice evening. Nice evening we're having, huh? Uh, oh, sorry, I clicked away from her thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'm misrepresenting. Oh, shit. Sure. Gotta run. So run. Okay, I will then. Scissors are always nice, let's take that. These things always come in handy. Small window, small dolls. Let's look at the dolls. Oh, look at the cute voodoo dolls. Okay, Baron Samdi! What do you mean, Samdi who? Uh, let's have a look at the window. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? Okay, so it's something you chat to. Okay, I'll do that in a bit. What's this? It's a mysterious door, Buzz. Just like it says in the tag. Well, that covers that one. Oh, uh, Darkham Asylum. Hmm, I wonder where they got that one from. I am noticing a lot of references in this game so far, and I quite like that. It's always nice when a game is tongue-in-cheek, and so far it's very tongue-in-cheek. Evening. It sure is. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh, yeah. Brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds... You an invest... Yeah, that's totally my name. Yep. B. Kerwan. P.I. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. Well, I suppose that's fair. Gotta scoot. Okay, let's talk to that window. Let's see what's going on in Windowland. Um, hello there? Password? <laughs> password. It's password, of course. Password. Nice try, buddy. Ah, Lady, you must know something about this. <laughs> See? Why is she waiting by the door, though? Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot, too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Uh, nice to meet you, Margot. Okay, I nice think... Nice to meet you, Margot. I think those random stats just then are literally just random. Maybe it'll come into play later. Who knows? So, the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal... Did you try... That's oh. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to point out how cute that was just then. Oh. 
And then Kate does another thing. I like all the little animations that are going on here. Really simple, but really quite satisfying. Oh, oh, big eyes. Oh, oh, that's cute. Can I ask what your husband? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Yep, that'll do. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? Ugh, I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't <laughs> happen to be a gun for hire, would you? Mm, I'm a librarian. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. Then. <laughs> well, that's that. Then. I'm a. Never mind. Gotta run. So run. Okay, and the taxi said he bought her here earlier, but I know a little bit more about her now. Her name's Margot. You know, maybe he'll let me know a bit more now. I don't know. That's the way it usually works. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? And lo and behold, I've got a new dialogue. Nope, I'm just a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She, she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? <laughs> How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction, and return it yourself. This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Go on, scoot. Uh, wait. Where's the bloody letter? Hey! About that letter. Yeah, wanna help give it back to her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Good man. Say, you won't open it, will you? Yes. Not only will I open it, I'll spray paint its contents all over that wall there. Huh, you kid are you. Here you go. I think the taxi likes me. Oh, a devil. Okay. 10 cunning, minus 25 morality, nice guy or removed. Beloved Margo, can't wait to see you next month. I'm toiling away at this new book, but my thoughts are constantly with you. Your sweet perfume, the way your hair shines in the morning light, your glittering expensive jewelry. Oh, Margo, Margo. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Yours intermittently, but lovingly, Charlie. Alrighty then. Alright, let's give her her letter. Thump, 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 thump. Alright, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Of course Charlie he did. Charlie who? Charlie, your lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated, and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, the password is Fidelio. 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 Oh, oh, <clears throat> okay. Don't do anything stupid. Just stay put. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do. Don't worry. Well, good luck and goodbye, Buzz. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bit weird. Uh, shut that. Um. Password. Password this time is Fidelio. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, this is a reference if I've ever seen one. Hmm. Oh, look, he's called Voodoo Guy. I wonder, was there ever a Voodoo Lady in another uh, point and click adventure game? I like this. Nice little throwback. Nice little uh, reference. I'm happy with that. It's an issue of Bogue Magazine. The headline reads The Fishmith Look. Okay. It's an ancient voodoo chest. Maybe I was showing the Necronomicon. I don't think popping out the Necro... Aww, how about some scissors? Yeah, these are somehow connected. Fine. Everything about this guy screams voodoo louder than Jimmy would. I guess he does look a little bit like uh, a voodoo-ified Jimi Hendrix. I guess. Uh, hi there. Greetings, Wanderer, and be welcome. Oh, what a happy, nice guy. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, worry not. I get my share of amnesiacs. 
You are That's now true. in the presence of the voodoo gentleman. VG, yeah! So, what do I call you? VG? No, that sounds a little bit too gangsta. Voodoo gentleman will do. Thanks. Uh. Was that password part really necessary? It is best that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right out of town. Thus, that makes the recommendation only access. By the way, who referred you to me? I, uh, I deciphered that ad in the classifieds? Oh, I do regret putting that out. Mm -hmm. I've been getting calls about fine leather jackets non-stop ever since. What? With that old thing? Was that password part really necessary? Them. I'm sorry, guys. It's best <laughs> that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right. Thus, by the way, Margo told me. Margo. Well, I'm glad to see you're alive and well. <laughs> Was that password that part really necessary? Margo. It is best that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right out of town. Thus, the. By the way, I just happened to stumble onto your door and guessed the password. Darn it! I knew I should have added numbers in an underscore. Mm-hmm. Right then, let's get back to it. The voodoo, gentlemen. You do... voodoo? I'm Buzz, by the way. Hmm. You do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. Well... I suppose, but first... Aren't you supposed to have an exotic accent? Oh, that's so cliche. Plus, I travel a lot. That's fair enough. I remember, all right. It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat, and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? I used this! Vaulting voodoo fixins, is that the... the... The Necronomicon, <laughs> in all I glory. love the eye. Wanna have a look-see? No, 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 put that away. Th that thing should not be touched. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, I'm... Sure, glad I'm not in your shoes. Um, I can't help you with your cat, my man. Uh, there are some things even I don't mess with. <gasps> but, but my cat. But my cat. Ugh, cats. We never did get along. What are the symptoms, pray tell? She kind of started talking. Oh, look, the cat speaks. Come on, come on, see the freak. <laughs> She's really unhappy with her current situation. Oh, ye gods, I've had this nightmare before. Maybe a pinch, but there's no cold sweat. How can this be? It's real, Witch MD. Well, crap. Uh, I, I mean, alas! <laughs> okay. How could you tell that was the real Necronomicon right away? Most everyone imagines it all black, bound in human skin, bearing teeth. Only true initiates know it really kind of looks like one of those British sweater vests. You know, the ones with all the crisscross things. Yeah, I know the ones. why is that? I guess you sometimes just go crazy with the triangles and it just doesn't turn out as evil a design as you'd think. Still, the content more than makes up for it. Pleasant colors, though. Yep, yep, very eye-pleasing. Yep. <laughs> I like the banter the characters seem to have. Like, not just these two in particular, but, you know, earlier on with the... Scylla was our name, um, and Margot. You know, th there's really good little banter in this. I do love the actual design of everything. It's beautifully presented. It's a lovely game. I'm happy with it so far. So let's see. Oh, and a friend of mine got kidnapped too. You don't say. Something tells me it's also Necronomicon related. He was kidnapped while looking for the damned thing. I really wish I could help you out, but... Ugh. Was it a very close friend? We talked for, like, five minutes. So, it was basically someone off the street. Aren't we all basically someone off the street? You sure are. <sighs> Okie dokies, let's see... Can't you at least point me in some useful direction? Hmm, there is one person that could probably be convinced to delve into this kind of mess. Yeah? I was just getting into my intriguing plot development swing and you totally threw me off. Where was I? Oh yeah, there's this avid student of the dark arts, an undercover intruder into the Dagon cult, a dear, dear friend of mine. 
a man mad and passionate enough to wade through the occult mysteries of the Necronomicon itself. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Did he <laughs> just go there? I've always supposed to be a pool. Sorry, too. I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. But everything I'm saying is dark and morbidly fascinating, right? Oh, absolutely. Just a second ago, I really think I detected some goosebumps. Awesome! I've been working on my wording and delivery. <laughs> dragon, he said Dagon! Tell me more about this dark intruder dragon guy. Dagon, not Dragon! The terrible god of the murky abyss. <laughs> Dragon, the one who seems to have Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades now. Man, where do you get all this stuff? I am a student of the occult stuff, my greenhorn friend. Plus Wikipedia. Wikipedia does know everything. You're a very wise voodoo man. Uh. So this Dagon's had Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades. He's the mayor then. Worse than that, if you can imagine. But this is all hearsay, since most people have been just avoiding Fishmith for years and years. I haven't talked to my friend in ages. Different cell phone carrier? That, and little to no reception. I mean, you are kind of in like a building like this, so it's not a big surprise you have little About to no reception. About this dark student you mentioned. I'm really on the fence here, and men in red shirts are notoriously unlucky. Stop reinforcing the stereotype. Is this about money? Money? <laughs> no, I always seem to end up working for free anyways. Actually, I don't know if I'm noticing this correctly, but whenever it swaps over, so it goes from uh, voodoo gentleman to buzz, I guess it's going to happen on other characters too. It looks as if it's carrying over the last person's dialogue for like maybe two or three frames. Let's have a look. Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with yeah, it is difficulty that. that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure you're ready to hear his worldly denomination spoken out loud? Hit me. I'm bracing myself. His name is Bob Olmstein. Bob! Bob Olmstein. You know, it really rolls off the tongue nicely. It does. It does, but in a shuddering, awe-inducing manner. You really like this guy, don't you? I admire his resolve in the face of occult adversity. He also makes a mean margarita. Hey, there's always a plus. Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. Waves of awe have been washing over me ever since I've heard you say Bob Olmstein. Are you perchance making fun of Bob Olmstein? I wouldn't dare. <laughs> so you're saying I can find Bob Olmstein in Fishmouth? Well, yes, but let it be known I am not advising you to go there. Doesn't look like I have a choice either way. Can you tell me how I can track him down once I get there? Last time we spoke, he was staying at the Finman house. Gotcha. Just remember, we don't go to Fishmouth. Okay, then. But I got a feeling that's not everything I need to do here. He needs this. Yeah, these are somehow connected, but not directly. I wonder if that means, because he said the same thing with the scissors. Can keep that thing away from me, p please. Hmm. Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this place now. I seriously love the fact that you can do the same thing as you did in Monkey Island, Lucas Arts Classic. Double click on uh, an exit arrow. So when that an exit arrow appears. Double click, and it takes you over to the next map instantly. Too many adventure games forget that. Hey, taxi, take me to Finman House and Fishmouth. Yeah, that's real funny. Let's waste the cabbie's time with dumb jokes. I'm not joking. No, uh, I'm serious. Take me to Fishmouth. We don't go to Fishmouth. Well, you should. I'll pay double. You can pay four times the fare. It ain't worth going there. You think Darkham's been strange lately? 
Wait till you get a whiff of fish, mate. So let's get a whiff. Money can't make me go there, friend. Them fishy folks will scare the scales off an anchovy. Wow. Can I interest you in an ancient cursed grimoire? Nah, already got one of those. And it's full of my wife's special occasion dresses. Haha. <laughs> Look, I have this suspicious cookie. Keep that thing away from me. Some darn hippie fed me one of those about a month ago. I was seeing tentacles and all kinds of ungodly things for a uh, week after. I you wonder don't why. Say. I have this talking cat. We all gotta crush the bear, buddy. Amen, brother. <laughs> what can I do for a ride to Fishmouth? Well, I do have a family problem needs taken care of, but, uh. Man, it's a heck of a doozy, let me tell you. I'm all ears. Ooh. Uh, see, this cousin of mine, Ed, married a woman out of Fishmont. Fishmont, can you believe it? Name's Azanath. Anyway, Azanath. ever since they got together, every time I meet old Eddie, I get this strange feeling he's, uh, he's not himself. Always shopping for groceries, never goes to the ball game anymore. General zombie-like complexion. That's pretty common. No, you unmarried folks. No, friend. I I'm going to click through this now. I know it sounds crazy. Oh, wait. It's like she's looking at me through his eyes. Like she's the one inside, right? Whoa. Okay. So where's he? Good question, buddy. I mean possession. That's crazy talk, I know, but I've seen it with my own eyes, man. Now, he ain't talking much, but from what he did say, he gets littler and littler time as himself every day. And I'm worried sick, man. Look. I don't know what your deal is, but get rid of Azanet for me, and I'll drive your butt to Fishmont like it was nothing. Quest unlocked. Uh, I, I mean, deal. Okay then. Why does he keep saying Fishmud? What can you tell me about Azanath? What's there to say? She's a creepy one, that's for sure. Looking like a darn fish if I ever saw one. I've been oh, driving mean. cabs forever. And I never heard of anyone else called Azanath in Darkham, so there's that. Hope that'll help you. Thanks. What can you tell me about- Name's Edward. Edward Derby. He's my cousin. Supports the tentacles. Don't care much for light beer or garlic-based toppings. Fair Thanks. enough. That's very insightful. Okay, got it. Got a scoot. Okay, okay. The voodoo guy has to be able to help us out here. Come on. Voodoo. Friend. Yeah. Voodoo gentleman, I need you to help me help someone out. Oh no. Whose life is the Necronomicon ruined now? No, nothing like that. There's this cabbie outside, and his cousin's body is apparently being possessed by his wife, Asenath. It's like he swaps bodies with his wife against his will. Wife swapping? That's crazy. Yeah, anyway, help me help his cousin get rid of this Asenath character. Hmm. Well, since I can't help change your cat back, I might as well give you a hand with this possessing business. See, Actual it all voodoo makes sense. freaking magic? My special brand of it, yes. We will need to craft a personalized voodoo spell. You're getting a platinum package deal here, buddy. I fear a fetch quest is in order. You'll need a doll. Well, that goes without saying. Then you'll need something that cuts, chops, or severs. And finally someone... How can I put this? Attractive. We're not talking chopping attractive people's limbs off here, right? Oh no, I have one motto. Do no physical harm. Cool. Oh, find the scissors. Found these scissors. Good eye. <laughs> That's what it was for. Found this picture of a male model. A strapping young man. It'll do. You have some dolls around. Can't we use one of them? That's my private collection, Buzz. No touchy. But I don't know where to get a doll at this hour. Oh, it's easier than you think. Like taking candy from a baby. I think that's a hint. Gotta run. I'll be here, Buzz. I know, you don't move. Also, there's a sword there. Looks like a pirate sword. A pirate sword, No need for eh? that in this day and age. I wonder why there'd be a pirate sword in here. I don't know, maybe referencing a certain game. Hey, dolls! 
These dolls are probably uh. already voodoo-fied. I don't think they can help me in any way. If you say so. Oh, uh, as I said at the start of the game, if you press and hold down the spacebar, it shows you everything that you can look at. But I'm not that interested right now. I'd probably suggest, if you're interested in this game, try out the demo. As you can see, it's quite extensive for a demo, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the full game's like. It's looking really good. I love the art. I love the voice acting. I love the smoothness of all the animation. Nice doll you have there, Priscilla. This stupid old thing. It doesn't even look like Mommy and Daddy anymore. I don't even want to know what that's supposed to mean. So, what can I do to get that doll of yours? What the heck do you need a doll for at this hour, you creep? Never you mind, Priscilla. I don't want anything but my fishy back! Well, that makes it obvious. Hey, Kitte, go and get me that fishe. Hey, Kitte, how about you climb up and get that amphibian for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry. But okay, we're quid pro quoing. <laughs> and then Kitte jumps up and gets me the fish. Hooray! Thank you, Kitte. Here. Have the cookie. Have the cookie. <laughs> I mean, that that is a high-budget thing, isn't it? All right, here. Have your doll. All right, Priscilla. Here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. <laughs> Deal, creep. This town, man. This freaking town. Well, that's her happy, at least. In fact, I can't even... I was about to say I can't even play with her. That sounds so wrong. That was not my intention. Right, let's go back in and see Voodoo Guy or Voodoo Gentleman. And... Shout to him. Found a doll. Found a doll? You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? All right, what do you want to call it? Uh, Asenath. Asenath. Asenath it is. So that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? <laughs> Doll, picture, scissors. Hmm. Alas, nope. Doll. Scissors, picture, doll. I mean, that's backwards to what I would have thought, but never mind. No, no, no. Okay. Scissors, doll, picture. Not quite right. Okay, so I'm on the last one then. Picture, doll, scissors. Alright, here we go. Here's some voodoo. Jambalaya! Oh. Um, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. I told you, a <laughs> deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. <laughs> Oh, my angel! Dubious morality. Alright. Nailed it! So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, not everything, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kid A back now. You do that, please. See you soon. Not too soon. And then I guess this is probably where the demo is going to end because that was a fair bit of time that we spent with this. I mean, I didn't even look at everything in this game. That was quite nice. Heard from Ed lately. You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 no. You're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. As an Eric left him for a male model. Oh, who'd have thunk it? God. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, wanna go to Fishmouth? Want? 
No, but I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, Kid A? Hooray! Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. Oh, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty, here goes nothing. And as I thought, that was it. Well, I'm quite happy with that. I'd highly recommend you check this out. It looks like a fantastic exercise. So that was our exercise. demo. Ooh. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider helping make this game by contributing to our Kickstarter campaign. Give. Us. Your. Money! <laughs> Kitty! I think we should be a little nicer to the people who can make this- Give it now! All of it now! Settle down now. <laughs> Help us make this game and get Kid A back to normal, will ya? Thank you so much. That is one grumpy Kid A. And then it leads you to click on it. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, so, what do you think of uh, Gibbous? I think, personally, having played through that, it's the sort of game that I would probably buy myself. Um, I'm going to be checking out the Kickstarter, um, and I'd recommend that all of you guys do too. What's all this? Give us a Cthulhu adventure, Stuck in Attic 2015. Oh, for the record, Stuck in Attic, that is the actual company that made the game. Uh, no actual legal information here, just a bunch of text to make this thing look more legit. Also fills the space on the bottom nicely. That is true. Huh. But yeah, I, as I say, I would highly recommend you check this out. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Uh, give us a comment, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and check out Gibbus. There are links in the description below. And until next time, we'll see you all around. Goodbye!